Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hartsasti, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included, uh, where we started the uh, rocket last time. Uh, so we should see it coming back uh, in this episode. That would also get us enough data modules to complete our next research and then we can improve um, uh, our uh, rocket uh, by using a petroleum engine which allows us to reach further than just the, the nearest uh, asteroids but be that as it may, we also uh, made some progress down here with cooling this area off. Yeah, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. We are also getting up our uh, calories. So that's good. We also got a bit more plastic, which means we can have another bed here. And eventually this transformer will also break. Uh, but that's why um, we are preparing a cooling to extend the cooling loop down here. Uh, but that will probably take a bit of time. Maybe we can speed it up slightly. And then over here, are we looking steel-wise? Yep, we can add, let's add two, two more bunk doors. And here. And, um, that up okay they are getting at it um Let's have a look. Um, time remaining one and a half cycle. So towards the end of cycle uh, 29, 27. Should be okay. Okay, our metal or our iron production is working. Um, we can grab a few more things from here. plant things in here and then I think we can also go ahead and replace the radiant pipe with normal pipe so 
answer that we do not cool these rooms too much. But that should then do so that we can actually uh, close off here on this side and break, and break it up over here. Okay, can grab this. Maybe let's close the doors for now. Now that the storm is past, let's open them again. So then obviously here we will have a radiant pipe to cool things down. should make sure that we do not reach uh, regolith up here because that would mean uh, the solar panels heat up, uh, take damage and that of course is no good. So. higher priority but then I think we are good to break these tiles um, this door here we probably should make sure that we uh, close off here because from this side we're coming in with Atmos uh, Youths and we do not want them to go in here and exit there or someone coming from here and uh, leaving there. That usually creates a mess. Oh yeah, plastic! Which means um, can build more bats okay I think our rocket should be about to uh, return Soonish. There she is. Then we can close off and we get quite a few additional data banks. We also get a vacillator recharge and an egg-shaped rock. So with the uh, vacillator recharge we can go here and uh, tell it recharge and then we can have another go with uh, one of our duplicates.
right. So, and with the amount of uh, data banks that we have, we should be able to finish the next research item. So we no longer need the steam engine. At least, I hope so. So let's let's finish uh, the the research. Uh, maybe um, we only have one uh, main researcher, so maybe we can get a second one. Someone is not maxed out on uh, their uh, skill and actually like doing research no um looks like you frank here will become our backup researcher enough plastic for another bed nope it tells me here I have 200 kilos and seems not to be enough so let's break this door We can actually uh, continuing with progress here on this side, and once we have exits from down here, um, should become easier to do the cleanup. Because all the storage is down here, so they don't have to carry it around the long way. doing here yeah there's still a few pieces left to be uh, to be built um, let's add the bridge here so we can easily uh, break the flow without making a mess Slow progress as it seems but as soon as we uh, uh, finish this part we can allow more duplicates to come in I think food wise we are okay um, maybe not uh, nine additional duplicates but we will see how far we can we can get And we do have one duplicate uh, which is currently living in the rocket. So 
they basically do not consume any oxygen, any uh, food. Which means we get basically one additional duplicate for free. Um... So how are we looking up here? Somehow we have a few pieces that no one wants to take care of. Now ah, that's better. How is our research looking? Yeah, they're still in, in this stage here. Um, so, uh, it will probably still take a while. Um, can lock this again. Right. Then we break not the bridge but the this part and we can connect here and there and hopefully that will complete the, the loop down here. And we can actually do a bit of, of cooling down here. So the transformer is not overheating the entire time. So... Yeah, that's maybe not the uh, the ideal flow. It should go the other way around. But basically, once we have sorted this piece out, uh, it it will work the intended way. Okay, we have walls here on the right side, means we can break these pieces. We can add the ladder here. And there they go. And then we can put in the last pieces of uh, the, the pole here. Nice. Now we can let in more duplicates. Should we come across uh, some some good ones, right? We will not take everyone. Yeah, we, we, we are picky. So, and let's break this one. That should fix the, uh, the flow direction. We have a potential new duplicate. Uh, that one would be good, wouldn't it be uh, for his uh, flatulency? That's no good. Noodle arms, also no good. So, sorry, but you just don't cut it. So, now maybe we can repair this 
and with the cooling uh, we should be able to uh, not break that anymore right and now that the flow is the correct way around so we can also break these two tiles I like it. Uh, our dirt is pretty low because now we do not only need it for the for the mealwood, but also once again for um, for our research. And dirt comes here out of the compost and here from from this farm. Uh, yeah. Lime is looking okay. Um, copy the settings over here. Deconstruct this one. to work a bit better than the last feeder we had not sure if it's just the, the, the beginning there or if it will continue to work we will see is our research it's progressing albeit slowly so we will make more progress next time until then goodbye